the Paragon of Comedy. Starring John Paragon and 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 John Paragon with Sandy Helberg, Edie Leclerc, Elvira, and John's special guest, Pee Wee Herman. Ladies and gentlemen, John Paragon. Thank you. All right. Okay, we're gonna make up a little song. So what I need for that are five different styles of music. So just shout them out. Jazz, reggae, rock and roll, country western, and punk. Okay, now I need two topics of conversation. So shout those out. Sex, sex, everybody wants sex. Aerobics, aerobics, okay. Let's review. Jazz, reggae, rock and roll, country western, punk, sex and aerobics. Hit it. Sex and aerobics, they are so cool, they are where it's at. Whenever I have sex or aerobics, I just can't help but sketch. Down in Jamaica, we don't do aerobics. We just braid our hair like rope. And if we have sex in Jamaica, we don't remember because we smoke too much dope. Little baby, let's exercise. I'll work that flab right off of your thighs. All your waist and all your gut. To shake that flab right off your butt. Side to side and up and down. Back and forth and around and around. Sex and aerobics I'm talking about. We'll do a little 20 minute workout. Thank you. Thank you all so damn much. A cowboy's life is kind of lonely. I ain't been late since the divorce. But me, I'll never get fat or horny. I can get exercise and sex from my horse. Thank you, Nashville. Watch out, that's all! Oh, no. My girlfriend just no deed, cause she forgot to breathe, and now I can't have sex because of a robot! Richard Simmons and Jack Lane, Jane Fonda, and rather me and say it's a and Robert! As I say, and Robert, as I say. Hi, I'm Dr. Berger, and welcome to Health in the Home. You know, in today's modern age, we're more likely to reach to the medicine cabinet for the relief of pain more so than any other time in history. So tonight, I'm going to show you a few home remedies that you can do without the use of possibly harmful narcotics, for example. Now, we've all heard of the old adage of putting a stake on a black eye. 
Well, that isn't as preposterous as it may sound because many of the juices found in the steak actually do reduce swelling and discoloration. Now, for a headache, I wouldn't use steak, but I would use chicken. <laughs> and what you simply do is tie the chicken onto the head. creating a comforting cocoon of relief throughout the entire skull area. Now, be sure to save those giblets because they're very good for canker sores. Now, throughout our daily stressful living, our feet often take the brunt of that stress. Stress that can manifest itself in the form of corns. Now, I'd look pretty silly with a chicken tied to my foot. So, I wouldn't use chicken, but I would use corn. And what you do is you simply pour the corn right onto the corns and then work that corn right into the corns. I'm using the creamy style. I find that emollients help soften that dead tissue. Now, I know some of you are probably saying to yourselves, all right, Dr. Berger, those home remedies may be fine for everyday ailments, but I think I've got syphilis. What should I do? Well, don't worry, you can treat yourself. But just because I put corn on my corns, don't expect me to pull out a package of wieners to treat syphilis. <laughs> wieners just aren't enough. You need pork and beans. You see, the pork and the beans work together with an astringent property that's vital to the treatment of venereal disease. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. But I hope you'll turn in next week when I'm going to show you how you can do your own early home pregnancy test with a brisket. <laughs> Until then, I'm Dr. Berger wishing you good health and good night. It's the Alan Arney Show. This week's episode, Bread Sale. Come on, hurry up, Al! I'm coming. <laughs> I love day-old bread sales. Yeah. Three loaves for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Al, remember bread provides bulk. I remember. <laughs> You gotta put this bread away. Mm-hmm. Do you think the rest of the bread will be safe in the car? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, a package of cupcakes. I wonder where these came from. Hmm. And one has been removed. Hmm. Hey, are you eating? Mm -mm. You are so eating. Mm -mm. You are too. Open your mouth. Mm -mm. Open your mouth. Mm -mm. Open your mouth. Mm -mm. All right. You remember our agreement. We don't eat separately. Now you have to watch me eat. No. Watch. No. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ow. What's that over there? Where? Right there. <laughs> Chocolatey. Mmm. Buttery. Mmm. <laughs> Cupcakes! <laughs> hey, perhaps we need something to wash these down with. What did you say? Perhaps we need something to wash these down with. How about a milkshake? What kind? Chocolate! <laughs> Hey, maybe you could take a little longer to get those milkshakes over here. Where do you want to go for dinner? Hey, how about pork chop shanty? Nah, too porky. 
Mm. How about Italian? No, we had Italian this morning. No. Oh, yeah. Well, then how about health food? Health food? <laughs> <laughs> We're both getting it. Hi, Hi Sal. Sal. Hi, boys. Where do you want these pizzas? In our stomachs. <laughs> pizza man, pizza man, pizza, 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 pizza. There you go, boys. Have fun. Everything dying here. See you tomorrow. Bye, Sal. Bye, Sal. Mm -hmm. Pizza. Hey, pizza. wait a minute, Fatty. Hey, who you calling Fatty? You're Orson Welles. You're Burr Lars. You're Raymond Burr. You're Shelley Winters. You're Nell Carter. You're Jennifer Holliday. Okay, I'm Jennifer Holliday. No, wait a minute. I have an idea. Let's have a contest and see who can go the longest without eating this pizza. Okay, fine. Ready? Okay. You win! No! <laughs> Next week's episode, Al and Arnie in Traction. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the Q4 Report. This is the show where we tell you who is like Major Q. Yeah, because we know. Okay, right. this is how we judge you. We judge everybody on a scale of Major Cute, kind of cute, sort of cute, and could be cute if they had good hair. Right. Okay, who are we going to talk about first? Okay, Scott Baio. Scott Baio is Major Q. Major Q. <laughs> we think he's Major Q for that show. Joni loves Chachi. We didn't like Joni at all. We hated Joni, so what we do is we beta max the whole show and cut out the Joni part so it's just the Chachi show. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, who's this? Robbie Benson. Robbie Benson? Look. Look at the hair. Ooh, look at this hair. Could be cute if he had good hair. Yeah. Bad sideburns. Ooh. Who's next? Christopher Atkins. <gasps> oh, my God, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that French my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dare you to eat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's this? Matt Della. Matt Della is so Major cute. Major cute. Except, look, look, look right here, look. Hair close. Hair. Some hair. Look. Hair. So we're going to send this pair of tweezers to Matt Dillon. Right. And Matt, we think he could be a really major kid, except for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look. You look just like Pat Benatar. I look like Jennifer Bills. No, I look like Jennifer Bills. No, you don't look okay. like Jennifer Bills. Like oh. Okay, you look like Jennifer Bills. Okay, I do. Okay. Okay, who's next? All right. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. We think he's really cute, yeah. except. I don't know. I think he looks too much like Diana Ross. Don't yeah, you? nice job. Yeah. Okay. Pass. Next. Who's you're, this? It's uh, Michael Jackson's sister, Jermaine Jackson. What's she doing here? She's a good boy report. All oh, right, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Right, no. Okay, go. Guess who this is. Guess, guess, guess. Oh, uh, bad guy in Superman. No, I thought it was Wolfman Jack, but it's... Donny Osmond! Donny Osmond! Oh. I can't... Donna, look at Can you believe that? Oh, God, he's uh, so cute, but it's not cute anymore. He really anymore. was cute. Uh, I think he's losing about 40 pounds and shave off that beard, and then he could be cute. Could be cute. Okay, gag bag time. Gag bag. Time for the gag bag. Okay, first out of our gag bag today is... Uh, boy, boy George! George. Ah. I know, someone should take tweezers away from him. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. who's next? Guess. Barry, Barry Manilow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, look at that nose. I know, he must have boogers the size of stalactites. He sneezes, I mean to tell okay, you. Okay, this is a real good one. Okay. This is a real good one. Okay, take it away. Betty? Nick Jagger. His lips would go all the way over your head and around your neck and suffocate you. <laughs> okay, that's all the time we have. But if you or somebody you know is major cute, major cute, send their photograph to Cute Boy Report, Post Office Box 3711, Van Nuys, California, 91407. And maybe you'll be on the next Cute Boy Report. Until then, I'm Debbie. I'm Betsy. And this is the Cute Boy Report. Bye. Thanks for watching. I feel good. I think that's a very good show. I'm hungry. Have that French fry. Let's take a look backstage at Broadway's happiest couple, Liz and Dick. Did I wake you, darling? <laughs> Sleeping off this morning's smorgasbord? Richard, is that you? 
No, it's Conrad Hilton, it's Michael Wilding, it's Michael Todd, it's Eddie Fisher, it's John Warner. Of course it's me. <laughs> Stage manager, please. Order me a submarine sandwich. Yes, this is Mr. Burton. I'd like to order a submarine sandwich. What kind of bread? Oh, I don't know. A loaf of any kind will do, I suppose. <laughs> and, um, bring me a bottle. So, you are drinking again. Look, I'm producing this play and I told you no drinking before a performance. I'd hardly call what we're doing out there performing, darling, or haven't you read the reviews? Fuck the reviewers. <laughs> well, obviously, that didn't do any good. But I did find this one review particularly interesting. Shall I read it to you? No. Very well, here it is. <laughs> Private Lives. In this hideously putrid production, only Mr. Burton fares well, despite the cow on stage with him. Oh, what cow? Oh, here, darling, you dropped one of your earrings. I don't have to take this. Where are you going? Out to marry some unsuspecting passerby? No, I'm going to change. Well, while you're changing, darling, would you do everyone a favor and close the drapes so you don't moon everyone? <laughs> like a giant lunar eclipse over the entire eastern seaboard. Well, how do I look? Well, if we put doors on you, you'd look like a limousine. <laughs> That'll be the door. Ah, yes, thank you. Uh, would you do us a favor? Would you mind making a dinner reservation for us at Sardi's? A, a table for eight. There'll be two of us. You're cute. What's your name? Chip. Chip. Knocking potato. <laughs> yes, that was very good. That was the role of Maggie from Fat on a Hot Tin Roof. <laughs> thank you, Chip. That will be all. It's not time to play Hump the Hippo. At least he has something to hump with. You drink so much of tangers and too little cocktail weenie. Don't make sordid comments about my man tool. Man tool? Man tool? What man tool? That's not a dog, Richard. It's a dig. It's a goddamn dig. I don't have to defend my member to a woman who wears so much eye makeup. She looks like a tropical fish. No, you're not a fish. You're a whale. You are Shamu. <laughs> Seven nominations and never an Oscar! 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 <laughs> How could you mention the Oscar to me? Well, you called me a whale. Well, you are a whale. <laughs> Oh, but you're my little whale. Oh, oh darling, I love you. I love you ever so much. Here, take it now. Here, go. Burton. <laughs> darling, your new dress is here. <laughs> well. Here's to you, my little national velvet. Break a leg. Maybe someone will shoot you. Please welcome America's favorite columnist, Dear Abby. up my column for deadline tomorrow. As you know, I have worked out of Chicago for many, many years, doing my syndicated column in over 1,500 newspapers daily. <laughs> and Chicago is a lovely city, but I'll tell you, that wind off of Lake Michigan is so fierce, it was forcing the mucus right back up into my nose. <laughs> So I took advantage of the generosity of the western state and I have moved to the west coast living in Beverly Hills with my office on last Idra. <laughs> and it was a propitious move, you see, because new trends start on the west coast. 
And with new trends come problems, problems, problems all day long. So, Abby's here to give some emergency advice this evening for all of the suffering souls on the Western Coast. And let's remember, dear, that even though you're on camera, it's totally anonymous because I can't see a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, could we have that first question? Abby, I can't ever get past a first date with a girl. Every time I call up to go out a second time, I get refused. What should I do? Oh, dear. <laughs> this is so distressing, isn't it? You look to me like one of those boys who buys a lot of self-help books. <laughs> I bet when you bought that book, How to Be Your Own Best Friend, you opened it up and the pages were blank. <laughs> Isn't it true that even that girl with excessive facial hair down at the Safeway won't speak to you? <laughs> She'd rather bag your face and steal your groceries. <laughs> you're disgusting, you're repulsive, and you're miserable. I don't see any future with you uh, for any members of any sex. So, things could be worse, though. I wish you would just uh, write me a letter when it all turns out and see how it turns out because I really care about you. <laughs> Thank you. Step right on up there, dear. Deep ahead and I love you. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, dear. Abby, your sister, Ann Landers, also gives advice and she's divorced. How can you explain that? Well, it was quite distressing when Ann had a divorce in her family. You see, but she was able to come to me, not for advice, but for love and understanding, because I was family, and I wouldn't judge her. <laughs> you see? And besides, it was her marriage that went in the dumper, so it wasn't my problem at all. <laughs> Step right up. Uh, Abby, my husband has a Could you speak up there? I can't hear you! <laughs> Yeah. Um, my husband has a problem with premature ejaculation. Uh, what can you do to hang on a little longer? Well, I can see why you wouldn't want to say that very loudly. <laughs> it's all right, Liz. I really understand, you know. This can be distressing, and if he has a problem, dear, you have a problem as well. Isn't that true? Yes, it's really quite disappointing when someone serves you dessert before you finish soup. Isn't that true? <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> but the thing is, dear, that you have to take a little responsibility here, too. If you're too exciting, if you're too voluptuous, if you're too, if you're too alluring, <laughs> then you've got to expect some quick results. <laughs> now, what you've got to do is dress up in woolly socks and a big down parka, <laughs> you see, until you're ready, and then... It should be a lot of fun. And failing that, if that fails, you know those big, thick rubber bands that come wrapped around the newspaper? <laughs> you try it. I think you'll like it. <laughs> I know now that everyone is balanced and relatively normal. So Abby's got to get back to work, and you've got to get back to your lives. Bye-bye. <laughs> The Red Room at Buddy's Motor Court proudly presents Mr. Larry McGuire. When I was just a little boy, I used to play with trains. I used to play with planes and other silly games that little boys do. Now that I'm older and I've grown into a man, myself a new hobby or two. Tits. I'm crazy about tits. Cause if she's got tits, then I'm gonna stare. I like them individually or by the pair. about 
jugs Like two VW bugs Parked on your chest A booby, a knocker, a titty, a melon, a breast Just be great at each and every dolly had triple D size 38 boobs. I'm crazy about boobs like two Rubik's cubes. I'd like to twist. I put them on the top of my shopping list. I must confess, I am obsessed with the two protrusions on the front of your chest. And you can trust, I only lust not for your money, but just your bust. I like them big, I like them small, I like them one, I like them all. Catch me if I start to fall so I can run smack dab into a memory wall. Tits! Tits! A booby, a boulder, a hooter, a fun bag, a melon, a grapefruit, tomatoes and peaches, a chichi, a knocker, a mountain, a bosom, a breast. We might as well just call it quits. Tits.